of blessings right now. This is an atmosphere of blessing. As the blessings of red and gold, praise God, the blessings come now. Hide your logical cycle. Come on, get out your seat and act like you're expecting a blessing to death. Thank you. 
in the name of Jesus. We say one more time to Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit break every yoke of backwardness in my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit break it down. In the name of Jesus. The Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. Say this the Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Give unto me. Give unto me. The, key the key of good sources. That everywhere I go. The doors of opportunities. The doors of prosperity. Will be opened unto me. In the name of Jesus. The Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father. Give unto me. The key of good sources. So that everywhere I go, doors of opportunity, doors of prosperity, will be opened unto me in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over you today that the power of the Holy Spirit will be upon you. That every shut door will be opened unto you. Doors of prosperity will be opened unto you. Doors of prosperity will be opened unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because you have declared with your mouth that the key of good sources will be given to you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in Revelation 37, Revelation 38. He said, he that had the key of David, Nata, that open door that no man can shut, and shut doors that no man can open. Doors of sickness be shut today in the name of Jesus. Doors of poverty be shut today in the name of Jesus. Now let doors of opportunity be open. Doors of prosperity be open. Doors of blessing be open. Jesus. Come on, somebody clap your hands and give it praise. Come on, somebody clap your hands and give it praise. I have one more for you. Say, I declare with my mouth that nothing shall be impossible for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I declare with my mouth that nothing shall be impossible for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, somebody pray that prayer for one minute. Come on, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. That nothing will be impossible for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare with my mouth. I declare with my mouth. That nothing shall be impossible for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, somebody pray that prayer. Come on, somebody pray that prayer. That nothing shall be impossible. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and bless you. In Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands and give him praise. Come on, clap your hands and give him praise. Come on, clap your hands and give him praise. Hallelujah! Come on, just keep playing in there. Hallelujah! The song of the glory. Hallelujah! We serve the risen Savior. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. You may be seated where you are for just a few minutes because I know we're going to get up and we're going to praise God and we're going to rejoice to God be the glory. Welcome to our evening edition at Everlasting Life Christian Center where the Spirit of the Lord is, where the love of God is, where the anointing is. Let me stop. This is not my time to preach. Welcome to God be the glory. Welcome everyone there from 
those that are bringing us from overseas in different nations. We welcome you into the house of the living God at Everlasting Life Christian Center, where the Spirit of the Lord is under the leadership and the tutorship of our apostle Samuel Fatoki and Prophetess Marshall Fatoki. We greet you under the leadership, the pastors, the teachers, the ministers, the government. We welcome you all. In the name of Jesus. I'm telling you, this is a good day. The word says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Come on, I don't hear no rejoicing. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what happens, no matter what comes your way, let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm here to ask, is there anyone here visiting for the very first time? If you are, can you please stand to your feet? Let us recognize you and honor you and bless you. Amen. We have one remain standing. Someone else has another one in the back. Amen. Remain standing. Amen. Come on, because our, our, our leaders and put together a little package for you as a token of our appreciation on behalf of Apostle Samuel for token and Prophetess Marcia for token of Everlasting Life Christian Center. We're here to give you a gift inside. You'll find a guest card. We just ask that you fill out the guest card. You can put it in the offer plate or give it back to the ushers at the end of the service. And we like to know, uh, what is your name and who invited you? Erica. Erica, and you're invited by who? Sister Nikisha, hallelujah. Welcome, America. In your name, and we're invited you. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I see someone else there that day. Yes, ma'am. You. <laughs> Amen. Welcome, welcome. Amen. So don't forget to fill out the guest card so we can let you know about the exciting things that are taking place here at Everlasting Life Christian Center. And if you don't have a church home, we here at Everlasting Life Christian Center says, Welcome home. Amen. And by the way, I'm Pastor Reggie. If I didn't say that earlier, continue to rejoice and be glad in it. Now we'll have our announcements that's coming forth, man. Let's bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, Sister Diamond.
Sam, I think he, he, he mentioned, y'all maybe said it, uh, he had mentioned that uh, we have, uh, we have un, been on, I call it a prayer vigil myself, glory to God. So needless to say, um, you know, we encourage y'all to do the same thing, to be prayed up and fasted up. Amen. So get an amen from somebody. Amen. It, it's a great realm to be in. Amen. 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 Glory to God. I was talking to my husband a couple of days ago. He said, okay, I need you to get out of that room and come down here. You got to come down here. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to welcome you here again. Uh, Pastor Reggie did a great job. But I um, wanted to just mention that, um, of course, this is the time that we normally do tithes and offering, but we're going to do it at the back. Amen. At the back, at the end. Amen? Amen. Amen. But I just want to, um, just, you know, the people who invited people today, let me see your hand, the people that came. You invited somebody that came. Amen. Praise God. Both people. The person that you invited, the person that came. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. The person that came right there. Praise God. Amen. Amen. You also invited somebody. Glory to God. The person came. All right. Right there. Raise your hand. Amen. 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 Praise God. Good to have you. Good to have you. I just want to say, you know, to, 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 to the folks that one thing is to hear the teaching or the soccer. One thing is to hear the word, but another thing is to do it. Yeah. Yeah. One thing is to hear the word of God, but another thing is to do it. Yeah. And it just, and you know, the man of God just broke it down on Friday night to whomever listened to that thing. Yeah. Did you all know that so many, there were so many benefits yeah. in evangelizing? Did you, did you know that there's so much favor? Yeah. Glory to God, one of the scriptures that I live on is how beautiful are the feet of those. Glory to God. Now, as I studied that some years ago, it, 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 your feet become beautiful. Glory yeah. to God. In other words, he increased your authority. In hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's where the beauty lies. He beautifies everything that you do. Yeah. That you do. Because now it says where the sole of your foot. So it's like how beautiful. So it's very even your very authority. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Everything that you do is beautiful. Amen. Amen. Meaning amplify. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I just got that. When you put on makeup, it's to amplify you. I, I hear nobody saying nothing about that. Amen? Amen. When you put on makeup, it's to amplify you. Yeah. Amen? I got the same face on the here. When it's to amplify you, it's amplify you. So he said to me, glory to God, that to beautify is to amplify. Yes, man. Woo! Amen. So he said, I amplify. When you evangelize, when you invite somebody, and can I tell you something what he's telling me? There's some people that are somewhere at some places, glory to God, where it's not the flow. I spoke to somebody early today and I asked them about a particular church and they he laughed at me so hard. I said, Can can this person get delivered? He's like, ah, 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 ah. no, 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 Pastor. There's no deliverance and special prayer there. And I, I got off the phone and I started laughing. Too. And I said, Why am I laughing? I said, Wow, well, God. I said, You are just amazing in the midst of us. Yes. There's yes. so much in the midst of us yes. here. Glory to God. And, you know, I just said, God, you're just, you're just awesome. So I just want to tell you something. If you know somebody that's going to a place or that's not even in a place, that glory to God is at home or is in a place where the Spirit of God is not flowing, please, by God's grace, Invite them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And you know, Holy Spirit said, you don't know that you are the answer to yes. their prayer. Amen. You have the answer to their prayer. Yes. Amen. So I just want to encourage y'all that to, to, to evangelize. Please, please, if you didn't watch the one from last Friday, please go watch it again. Amen. So much revelation. I'm like, to my husband. Preaching, young man. <laughs> Amen. My young man. Okay. Praise <laughs> Amen. God bless you all, and um, I will come. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> so God bless you, and um, the next issue here is uh, uh, all of God. All of God. Thank you. God bless you all. Praise the Lord and praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Can you all stand to your feet, please? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Spirit of the sovereign Lord, come back, make your reverence known. 
the glory of the living God. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of the living God.
It was co it was co published by Charisma Magazine. Yeah. You know Charisma Magazine? Yes. 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 It's co published by that. So go there and get one. It will bless you. Amen. And we have prayer points on the at the end of each chapter. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you check. You come. Let me bless you with this. Come get this book. Come. I want to bless you. This is going to bless you. I want you to read it. And at the end of each chapter, I pray that we strengthen you. Amen. 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 Yes, man. Come. Me... Okay. Good. I have two. Come. Let me bless you, man. Steady, steady. I'll come to you. Oh, thank you. Yes. Let mom always okay. He'll share this. Amen. Amen. Now this is the second one. It's called powerful, powerful yes. teaching. You gotta get this. The secret of peace. Yeah. The secret of peace. When you read this book, it's going to give you peace. Amen. 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 Peace is not a possession. <laughs> Amen. 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 This is so powerful. Let me bless oh, Pastor Kola and the wife. I know you have Amen. Amen. We, we, we met in Dubai and uh, I gave them one. I didn't have this. Do you have anybody else? Man, yes, come. This come to bless you. The strength, uh, this is the secret of peace. Wow. We all need peace. Amen? Amen. 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 You will lend the money. It's not peace. Amen. You can have money and don't have peace. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Actually, peace is a spiritual thing. Amen. Hallelujah. I won't preach that today. I said peace is God's spiritual thing. Yeah. The closer you move to God, the more peace you have. Even if you don't have any money, you're going to have peace. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Really, it will bless you. Amen. Amen. Next Sunday, we're looking, they, they give us a space for the children. Upstairs, but very small. We're going to talk to them to get a bigger space. Uh, we're going to come. So this week, we'll be here. Sunday, they will be upstairs. Amen? Amen. Also, there's a, a little change. I want to acknowledge Pastor Delicia. Amen. She has served in the ministry for many, many, many. Come on. Clap our hands. And don't play this woman of God. She has served in this ministry, in the ministry for many years. And that when she came to us, God sent her to help off with the children. Amen. And since then she's been summoned. Amen. Can we pray to God for that? It was great. I'm going to be talking about today three types of calling. Oh my God. Amen. Three types of calling. We're still teaching on um, divine purpose. Discover your divine purpose. As a matter of fact, Pastor Lizia came to us. She was not a pastor. But because he was faithful in doing that, yes, God elevated that. Amen. Yes, he was faithful in that. Amen. I'm going to be teaching that today. That will really bless you. Amen. 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 Now, let's go to... I will start with Jeremiah. The topic today is discover your purpose. Discover your divine purpose. I've been teaching this. This will be the third week, correct? Yeah, this is the third week. Discover your divine purpose. We talked about purpose. What is purpose? 
Let me start from there. What is purpose? We learn that purpose is the original intention for which something was created by God. Original intention for which something was created by by God. God does not create if there's no purpose. God does not what? Create if there's no purpose. Amen. Our God don't create unless there's a purpose. Amen. So you are here today because there's a purpose for you. Amen. Hallelujah. We also talk about calling. The calling, when God calls, the word calling, it means to invite or to summon. It means to what? Invite or summon for us to develop our potential. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This God is a good God. Oh, yes, yes. He will invite you, He will summon you to develop yes, your what? Your potential. Yes, sir. That means there's a potential that God has instilled inside of you. Yes, sir. Many people don't discover it, but I pray in the name of Jesus. That you will discover your potential. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus. You will discover your calling in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I'm telling you, it's good for you to have your own vision. Amen. Please have your own vision. Amen. For God's purpose is only greater than whatever you have. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Before for that purpose, that's why you were created. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 If you are still here, see, two years ago, up to a few months, people, people died from COVID. You are still here. You are not finished your assignment yet. Yeah. You are here for the right purpose. God has kept you because there's a potential inside of you that you need to develop. Amen. Yeah. He called us to develop our potential. Do you know your potential? Some people do not. I know mine. I know my calling. Hallelujah. If you don't know your calling, but there's something in you that God has invested in you. It's called a potential and it's for you to what? To develop it. Yes. Amen? So, purpose is the original intention by which something was created. Mm. <laughs> purpose is the original intention for which something was created. God does not create if there's no purpose. Amen. 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 You didn't come on her by accident. Amen. 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 You came on her by divine purpose. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 I said the other day, you didn't come on her because of that and more money get together. Yes, they get together. Why? They were fulfilling God's purpose. Amen. Thank you. Hello? Amen. They were what? Fulfilling God's purpose. Amen. The Bible said, be fruitful. Amen. And multiply. Amen. It's not going to happen automatically. Amen. They were fulfilling God's purpose. Amen. You came out of purpose. Amen. Preach, preach. Hallelujah. You came out of what? Out of purpose. Yes. For a purpose. You came out of purpose for what? Purpose. You have great purpose. You have great calling. Hallelujah. You are not just nobody. Hallelujah. You are here for intended purpose. Glory to God. Now let's go to Jeremiah 1, 4 and 5. So then the word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before I formed you in the womb, I need you. Before you were born, I sanctify you and ordain you a prophet to the nation. A prophet to the nation. 
God will not let you come on her without already designing your form, designing your purpose. Amen. Now, let's go to Hebrews 5 4. 5, 4. I hope we'll move a little swiftly. Is it on the screen? Thank you. Hebrews 5 4. The calling is given by God. The calling is given by God. We are not to call ourselves. God always calls. God is the one that called. As I said, calling means to summon. To invite or summon for you to develop your potential. The potential comes from God. Yes. God instills the potential in you. So the calling is given by God. Let's go to Hebrews 5 4. He said, And no man think this honor to himself. But he who is called by God. You see that word? He who is what? Called. called by God. God. Who calls? God. God. Amen. We are called by God. God, God has to call you. Amen. So we have to be patient. Don't call ourselves. Amen. We have to be patient Amen. to allow God to invite us. Yes, we have to be patient to allow God to summon us to develop our potential. Yes, sir. Amen, somebody. Come on. Yeah. The church is quiet now. Yeah. Yeah. Are you planning to call yourself? Yeah. Well done, God. And allow God to call you. Amen. Sometimes you are not ready. If you are not ready, don't call yourself. Let God call you. Amen. Yes, Amen. God will be preparing you to be ready. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he said, no one takes this honor for himself. But he who is called by God, just as Aaron was called. Let's go to the same Amplified 5 4. Amplified 5 4. I'll be reading the classic. Amplified classic. Thank you. I'm this girl for our main film. Amen. It's on the screen so I can move swiftly. He said, Besides, one does not appropriate it for himself. This honor, one does not what? appropriate from himself. This honor, what honor? Mm. For who's a calling? For God to call you if you are called is an honor, Amen. Amen. and you cannot take honor to yourself. Amen. The honor belongs to the one that called you. Ah. It is an honor to be called. By God. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you call yourself, there's no honor. No. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 This honor. It's this honor because you have patience to wait on God. Amen. And when you call yourself to a ministry, you don't have the anointing unless God called you. Amen. Anointing is associated to the calling, to yes. the purpose of God. Amen. 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 Yes. It is an honor to be called by God. It is an honor to be called as a pastor. It is an honor to be called as an evangelist. Amen. It is an honor to be called as a prophet. Yes. As a prophet, as a prophet of God. Amen. 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 If we hear me, I don't use the word prophetess. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I don't use it. For those that are in the office, Okay. Oh, don't forget that. Don't go tell anybody not to call yourself prophetess. Please let them call yourself prophetess. The difference when someone in the office, that means they carry a mantle. It's not a gift. Amen. Wow. It's a mantle of prophetic. Yes. Yes. Are you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. It's not a gift. They also there's a gift of prophecy. We have a lot of people who have gift of prophecy. But it's different. Someone with a mind to prophesy. Amen. They give it day, they give it time. 
Yes, sir. They give you location. There's a mantle. And there's a special grace that's assigned to that. Thank you. Amen. 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 It is an honor to be called a servant of God. Amen. Is it besides? No one does appropriate himself the honor of being a high priest, but he is called by God. So the person that called is the person that will receive what? Honor. Amen. I don't know, sometimes you see some people, the moment you ordain them as a pastor evangelist, even the way they walk change. <laughs> I cannot talk to you for some moment. I cannot talk. The way they walk change. The way they speak change. It's a certain of spirit of pride. When we are ordained and in the office, we need to humble ourselves. Yes. The honor don't belong to us, but the honor belongs to the one that calls. Yes. Hallelujah! The honor belongs to God. Yes. It's the one that calls. The honor should go to Him. Yes. Amen. What you don't know about honor, honor is a divine exchange. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on, we we'll teach that today. This is divine what? Exchange. When you honor God, you receive something from Him. Amen. It's a divine exchange. Honor God, you will receive. Are you with me? Amen. We're going somewhere today. I'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> the word of God call on, uh, calling as an honor. This calling cannot be given by a man. This calling cannot be given by a woman. This calling cannot be given by association or organization. This calling cannot be given by our family. And this calling is not inherited. You cannot inherit it. It's God that gives. Glory to God. It comes from God. It is an honor that is given solely by God. Amen. No one can promote himself. Amen. I mean, this kind of message will be preached in all over the churches. Yes. Amen. You come see people just leave their ministry and begin to call themselves apostle, prophet, evangelist, yes. bishop, ash yes. bishop, for yes. ash bishop. Yes. <laughs> What have you asked? Have <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Actually, it's dangerous. I don't get it. It's dangerous to do that. Amen? We have to be ordained by God. Now, how do you know when you are called? Let's use Jeremiah as a good example. Let's go to Jeremiah 29. Remember we read Jeremiah 1, 4, and 5, God called him, and God called him as a what? Prophet to the nation. Prophet to the nation. Let's go to Jeremiah 29. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak anymore in his name. But his word was in my heart. Like a burning fire, shut up in my bones. I was willing of holding it back, and I could not. Jeremiah was described the calling as a fire that was deep inside his bones. It was deep inside his bones, a passion that would allow him to sleep. Have you felt that, that before? You have a passion that you can sleep. Amen. He said he's wrong. He was upset with God. He told God, I'm not going to speak in your name anymore. I'm not going to do what you created me to do. That's what he was saying. But he said the word of God came in his heart. Like a bone, like this uh, fire in his bone. Amen. And this fire would not leave it alone. Yeah. This is a passion that can never depart. Amen. 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 It's a passion that God put inside of you because anointing is the evidence of your calling. Amen. If there's no anointing in that ministry, you don't have the calling. 
Amen. 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 And these nine gifts are divided into three. I will teach you so simple, you will never forget them. Yeah. They are divided into how many? Three. Three. How many are the gifts? Nine. 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 They are divided into three groups of three. The first one is called speaking gift. Amen? Yeah. Or we call it vocal inspiration. That's why I don't understand. The way I say, I will not speak. <laughs> I can a prophet don't, don't want don't want to speak. Or maybe you write it down. <laughs> Are you with me? Amen. Vocal inspiration. Can we say that? Vocal that means if you want to manifest this deed, you have to speak. 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 The first one is speaking in tongues. I mean, you can speak in tongue now. Yeah. 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 Let me see your hand. You can speak in tongue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speaking in what? In tongue. Now, people speaking in tongue don't just speak up words. <laughs> Amen. 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 Okay. No, honest. Don't make up words. Yes, ago we had somebody. Everyone speaking in tongue. It's not baptized of the Holy Ghost. Instead of. Telling us so we can pray for this person when you speak in tongue. <laughs> 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 Can we see that Amen. 
God said to Jeremiah, I don't have no one to stand in the gap. Mm. Come on. That instruction God gave me, you know, that the church over the world are going through because there's no people that stand in the gap. There's many things I want to do, but I cannot do it. People are not standing in the world in the gap for the church, for your miracle, for your breakthrough. Standing in the gap is different to pray. Yeah, you have to pray. Standing in the gap for God. Church. Let me go swiftly. Speaking in tongue, interpretation of tongue. And prophecy. So what I was saying, if Jeremiah said he will not speak his name, mention his name again, and the fire is there. Huh. I can be a prophet and don't speak. Vocal in fire. Vocal inspiration. Number two, revelation gifts. Can we say that? Revelation gifts. What's the first one? Speaking gift or vocal word? Inspiration. Then there's another gift called revelation gifts. Word of knowledge. Thank you, sir. You see, prophets have the mantle. Word of wisdom, word of knowledge, designing of spirit. What is word of knowledge? Past and what is word of wisdom? Future. What is designing of spirit? To be able to distinguish between spirits. There are three spirits. Uh -huh. First, two, three. Amen. 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 Spirit. One, the Holy Spirit. They that worship him much. The devil is a spirit. And you are a spirit. Live in it. Have a soul. Amen. If I'm deliverance, you should know that. Spirit cannot be possessed. Amen. <laughs> it's the soul. It's the spirit. Amen? Amen. Say revelation gift. There are three. Then the third one say power gift. Power. Yeah, three group. And the top the first one is gift of faith. Give of faith. I'm finding out that they have to teach this. It's deeper than this. Gift of faith is not the measure of faith. Amen. Amen. Measure of faith is different from it's a gift. Yes. If I tell Pastor Masha T, what did I do? What did I just do? It's a gift. Did she work for it? No. Do you work for it? No. Oh, you give my <laughs> Give up? Now, there's also what we call major of faith. Major of faith is not deep. Ah. You have to earn it. You got to listen to the word of God. You have to study the word of God. Hallelujah. You have to believe God. Hallelujah. And faith. It's not only believing. Yes, Come on. Mm. Faith is more than believing. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Faith is corresponding action. Yes, sir. Faith is believing the unseen. Yes, sir. Not the unknown. Oh. Come on. Oh, Amen. Yes. Faith yes. is what? <laughs> believing or trusting the what? I'm seeing. Amen. I can see it, but it belongs to me. Amen. And I know it. Faith is not unknown. Faith is known. I know that house is mine. I can see it, but I know it. And I have the proof. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody talk to me. 
was not giving time to thee. I told you, my time to thee, I gave you assurance. Hey. Hey. Ah. Hello? Amen. I don't want to preach faith. Some of them, if you cannot preach faith, they're the Messiah. That's your witness. Yes. <laughs> Is it time to thee that give me an assurance? Amen. That this property is mine. Amen. If you don't believe it, I can prove it to you. Amen. I have the title to thee. Yes, sir. What is title to thee? Title to thee is a legal ownership of a property. Okay. Yes, sir. I can see it and know it. I can prove it. Amen. 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 I was my proof. I was the title to thee. My time to thee is because God said it. Amen. It's because God said what? He said it. If God said it, it is mine. Nothing can change it. Only if I don't want it. Amen. 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 So we can say faith is trusting God, believing God for something and actually possession. Amen. Amen. Let's go back here. Amen. Amen. So power gift is the gift of faith. Gift of faith. It's not the measure of faith. How can that happen? Can I give you a little one? Then I move forward. A little example. Yeah. If somebody is here and sitting on a wheelchair. And I see a vision. And I saw that same person in a vision in the spirit. Get up from the wheelchair and begin to walk around. What would that do to you? It will impact faith. That tells me God wants to do it. If that's telling you that God wants to do it, and know He's going to do it, it will be in my faith. Amen. So what I will do, not have faith that they work for, but it comes by revelation. Yes. The first thing I will do, I will take that which I threw it away. And break it. <laughs> Better don't break it, if you're not sure, if I will get up. <laughs> I'm not making sense to you. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 We will teach that another time. I will go to three times. Did I give you three? Yes. Gift of faith. Uh huh. Healing. Gifts of healing. Mm-hmm. When the teacher is talking about gift, Amen. gifts is plural, not singular. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? Yes. yes. Every other gift are what? Singular. singular. The only one that is what? Plural is what? No. Gift of healing. Thank you. Deep. Please stick with me. Gift of what? How come is plural? Thank you, Pastor. The different way God heals. Lay your hand. You can speak. You can give instruction. I went to Zimbabwe, no, not Zimbabwe, Uganda. We were there, I went to this place to pray for her. I was there, and another bigger than me. And the Lord said, I should tap her back 30 times. Yeah. One, two, three. So I saw, I look at the guy, I tell them what I want to do. <laughs> I told them, they don't say I should tap your one bench, her problem is 30 times. Can I do it? They say yes. One, two, three. That's what happened. She got up. She was here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Gifts of healing. Some of you have healing. You have that gifts of healing. 
steady to Stacy. Broker came. Mm -hmm. Stacy from the whole church. Mm -hmm. You broke her cane. Mm -hmm. And she walked that bitch within the car. She walked that day. Because I was sure. <laughs> I was very strong. God imparted faith. So we have gift of faith, gifts of what? Healings. So then I'll go to the type of the one I finished that. And the third one is? Huh? Yeah, healing. Mm -hmm. Faith, healings, and the third one again. Huh? Working out. Yes. Let me teach this a lot. After we teach this, your faith will increase. You go outside healing people. Amen. I'm serious. Amen. Working out. How come it's not miracle? How come it's working off? Yeah. Why is that? Okay. Working of what? Miracles. Not miracle. It means that God worked miracle through us. Amen. Working off? Miracles. Miracles. I'll give you a good example of that. Don't say that. Christian Pope that was coming to our church a long time ago. He didn't know God gave us instruction that uh, I think God is changing my message. There's a healing power here today. Now Amen. I know. There's a healing power here today. Somebody will hear any problem. God will heal. There's a healing power here today. There's a very power here today. There's someone here with problem here too. But from you, you are yes. you are healed. Yes. Amen. Right? Yes. You are healed. Somebody here today. So God tell us that uh, they went to John John Hopkins and they told them that their daughter will never walk. Never walk. That's a very sad news. And that's the thing God told us to tell them. That the daughter will walk. Amen. Talking about what? Walking up? Yeah. If God didn't tell us, we will not know. Amen. Then God give what? Instruction. Mm. That is the walking of? Yeah. He gave us instruction. You know what God told me to do? Get yeah, anointing on. I'll share it with you before you know it. Put anointing on and speak on your own. And, and do it. And rub it together and rub a leg and command infirmity to go three times. Before I did it, I tell them. Amen. You tell them, please say this, you know. <laughs> African pastor, did you pastor? <laughs> I'm serious. People will say this in Juju Man. <laughs> and I told them. And they say yes. What shocked them? He said, they know what you know, people are bad, they know yet. Mm -hmm. How do you know? He said, God, I'm going to tell you what to do. Wow. We did that, the same thing. Miracle happened. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, let's get to this. I'm going to do quick. Then we're going to begin to pray. Three types of calling. Three types of calling. The first one is general calling. Three types of calling, general calling. General calling or general will of God is the purpose of God, the plans of God, and the purpose of God for every Christian. For every Christian. So in other words, every believer you are called. Can I hear amen? amen. And we call it general calling. Every believer, if you are saved, you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are called. Amen? Amen. You have a purpose. Amen. 
And those called him, what are those? There are some things that God has established for each believer that we must do. Number one, evangelism. Every believer, you are called to what? To evangelize. You are called to do what? To evangelize, to share the gospel, to share the good news. Amen. Amen. Evangelism is not only for the people in the office of evangelism. It's not only for the pastors, for the teachers, for the apostles, and the ministers to do it. Evangelism is for who? For every believer. You are called to evangelize. Amen. It's a general calling. Glory to God. You are called. The second one, general, before we go to the second, general calling, we are called to evangelize, we are called to pray. Amen. Every believer must pray. Glory to God, don't you expect for the men of God, women of God to pray for you? You must pray. Amen. You must have prayer life yeah. and intercede, intercession. Amen. Amen. Prayer and intercession. We are all called. Amen. If you don't know your specific calling, every believer should be evangelizing. Amen. Friday we a talk on evangelism. Oh, I tell you, monk is coming. Amen. Many people didn't know the benefit and the blessing in evangelism. Amen. Amen. When you do it, when you evangelize, you know what you are doing? You are what? Obeying the master. Amen. You are obeying Jesus. Yeah. Mark 16. He said, go into the world. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mark 28. He said, go into the world and evangelize. Amen. And when you obey, there's always a blessing. Yes, right. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Isaiah 119, what did he say? If you are willing and obedient, you will eat what? The fat of the land, the rich of the land. Glory to God. Amen. It's obedient. Number two, that people didn't know when you evangelize, long life. Yes. Amen. You will live long. Hallelujah. Because evangelism is the heart of God. Amen. God wants evangelists to live longer on earth. So that men will be saved. Amen. 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 If they're not there on Friday, you, you will see it. Uh, John 15, 2. You will see John 15, 2. Say, if, are, if you don't see their fruit, I will what? Cut you away. Yes. Jesus. John 15, 6. 16. John 15, 16. Nobody said, if you bear fruit, and your fruit remain. Hallelujah. Sometimes you bear fruit, but that fruit does not remain. If you remain, that's your evidence. That's your proof that you are bearing fruit. I know what they said. Ask whatever. Ask the Father whatever. Yes. Amen. Evangelism, when you evangelize, also, you know what it does? It guarantees your prayer. Amen. It ensures that you answer to your prayer. Amen. Yes. It was talking about evangelism. You see, every branch in me that does not bear fruit, I what? Cut away. If you're being fooled, you don't need to go to the way. You want to live longer on earth. Right. Yeah. Because we are here to populate heaven. Amen. And to depopulate hell. Yes. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So every believer, we are called to what? Amen. To evangelize. Also, every believer, we are called to pray. Amen. We are called to pray and we are called to intercede. Amen. Yeah. Now, intercession is prayer also, but there's no different. Pray for all that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you pray for your church? Amen. Do you pray for the man or woman of God? Yes. Do you pray for the prayer ministry? Amen. Do you pray for the music ministry? Amen. We are called to pray and to intercede. Yeah. We are also called to be. Amen. 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 We 
are called to give. Jesus said it is blessed to give than to receive. We are called to give and we are called to serve in the body of Christ. So those, if you don't know your calling, your specific calling, guess what you should be doing? Evangelizing. Amen. Praying. Intercession. Giving. And serving in the church. Yes. Amen. 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 Number two. The type of calling. Special calling. Thank you. Special calling. The special calling is a particular will of God for an individual. Special calling is a particular will of God for an individual. The individual, that's why you will see, God does not rush to call anybody. Before God call you, God has to make sure or before he invites you, remember calling his what? Invitation and summon. Before God summon you, he has to make sure, he will make sure that you are faithful with the general calling. Amen. Amen. Because if you are not faithful in the general calling, why would he give you special calling? Yeah. No, he won't do that. God is very smart. He wants to see your faithfulness in the general calling. Right. Are you evangelizing? Are you praying? Yes, sir. Are you supporting the church with your giving? Mm. Amen. Are you serving in the church? Mm. But I'm learning anointing does not come upon those that don't do nothing. Mm. Hey. No, it does not come. Amen. Amen. Anointing Amen. is for a reason and for a season. Anointing yeah. won't come up for anyone that is not working. Uh -oh. yeah. God is looking for those that are working. God is looking for laborers. Yeah. People that are serving in the kingdom of God. Yeah. Because you know what? God is smart. Amen. Very smart. Yes, sir. Why would you give your anointing and you sit on it? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He gives you a notice to be healed and he said, Oh, not looking for the sick. Don't wait until you get the job. Look for the sick. Look for the hospital. Lay hands on somebody. Can you see it? Let me pray for you. That's right. Are you hear what I'm saying? Amen. I'm going to wait until your congregation. No. Go to the hospital. Amen. And don't pray some of your friends are sick. Pray for them in the name of Jesus. And one thing, I'm telling you, does not come to someone that's not doing anything. God always anoint people that are hard work, yes. serving in the kingdom of God, yes. fulfilling general calling, yes. evangelizing, yes. praying, and they do this willingly. Yes. I'm telling you, God is sharp. Yes. <laughs> sharp! Why would you give the anointing in the special calling when you're not fulfilling the general calling? Amen. That's what the Bible said. Many are called. Come on, talk to your neighbor. Many are what? A few are chosen. The chosen one are the ones that work very hard. The chosen one are the ones that evangelize. The chosen one are the ones that love to pray. The chosen one are the ones that support the work of the ministry. Sacrifice. If you don't know your divine calling, don't just stay there. Do something for the house of God. Amen. Evangelize. Yes. Bring somebody to church. Share to someone about Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray. Amen. Amen. If you don't know what to pray for, come to me and give me prayer points. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm a prayer warrior. I love to pray. Amen. I love to pray. Yeah. Glory to God. Prayer is our food. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and since we come back from Dubai since February 1st, we didn't get home, we went straight to prayer ground. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Since then, three days, prayer fasting, prayer fasting. Amen. Amen. So when I say, when Pastor didn't do all of that, we tell you that I have to develop my potential yeah. to the fullest. Yeah. I'm developing my potential yeah. to the fullest. Yeah. Hallelujah. There's no limit. Sky is no 
the limit. The throne of God is the limit. Oh, develop in my potential. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can tell she has no switch. Before my stomach is a bit little. The devil is a liar. Prayer. That's how serious. Even in Dubai, they will tell you where the prayer team. I pray with them how many days? My wife and I pray with them how many days a week? Four. Eh? Four. 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 Which day? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh -huh. Thursday. Uh -huh. Four o'clock US time. Guess what time in Dubai? Mm -hmm. 1 a.m. We did all night. So we will see credit for all night. They didn't see credit for all night. <laughs> Pray and love it. Amen. Amen. And that's what helped me to receive what? Special calling. Yes. Amen. 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 If you don't imagine that, you don't pray. Do you, let, let me continue. Let me give this. Special calling is a particular, particular will of God for an individual. The individual who receives the special calling also receive anointing. There's a special anointing with special, uh, with, with, with your calling. Special anointing with special calling. So that's why God said, well, before I give you my anointing, I have to trust you. Amen. If you receive a special calling, if you receive an anointing, and a level of authority. Amen. A level is of the spirit. Praise God. Thank you. The anointing. The anointing is given for that. And also a level of what? Authority. Can we say authority? Can we say authority? God will give you anointing and he will give you authority and a special ability. Needed to carry out the work. Amen. So special, it gives you anointing. <coughs> it gives you level of authority. As believers, we all have authority. Amen? Amen. But for your calling, it will give you another level Amen. of authority. Amen. Authority is different from anointing. Amen. Thank you for that one. Amen. Amen. <laughs> authority is different from what? Anointing. Anointing is the power of God. Amen. 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 If you have power and you don't have authority, it's illegal. Amen. Amen. That power is illegal. Amen. Yes. Amen. If you have power with our authority, your power is legal. Hello? Let me give you a good example. If I'm a police officer and I have this in my badge. <laughs> this is my badge. This is what? Authority. Authority. Thank you, sir. The ability to operate as a and that is what? Authority. Yes, sir. So people, when they see you, you don't have no gun. You don't have no gun. No. <laughs> when they see that, yes, yes. some people will shake it. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Some people, what? They will move away. Yes. Yes. Because they know you have what? Oh. Authority. You can arrest them. Yes. Amen. Yeah. As believers, when we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, He gave us for authority. As many that receive him, he gave them what? To become authority, authority. To become the son of God. Yes, sir. If you don't have the authority, you cannot become. Amen. Wow. Oh. Amen. So when you give them the badge as a police officer, that's what gives them the right as a police officer to do what they do. Amen. Amen. But we'll see my hands. I have no baton and I have no gun. But I have what? Authority. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. This is why you don't understand the death 
devil operate based on authority. Amen. Huh? He understands authority and he knows authority. He knows those are in authority. Amen. I know those are faking it. He knows. He knows. He knows those are faking it. We call it Shakara. They fake it. Yeah. <laughs> And also, maybe the thank you, but so they have fake what? Yeah. Fake match. Oh, I love it. It's not real. It's fake. You yeah. never do it. I'm serious. It's not real. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they got all the Amazon. That's true. They got them everything from what? Amazon. Yeah. They got the fake match. They got the fake match. I'm telling you. They got the fake match. I'm telling you. They got the fake match. I'm telling you. Are you hearing me? Yes, 
the special anointing. Now, let me give you the next one. Let me give you this. When we are faithful in this area, God will give us the specific calling. All the pastors here, they've been with us for a long time. They were faithful. Amen. Amen. They were faithful in the general. Amen. 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 They were faithful. Who we went to teaching and praying. They were faithful. Yeah. Amen. Are you hear what I'm saying? Amen. They were faithful. They were not pastors when they come here. Minister. Elder. But when you see their faithfulness. Amen. God. We see your faithfulness in the general. Amen. When you see that faithfulness in the general, then you say, I can trust you with the level of authority. Amen. I can Amen. trust you with my anointing Amen. and then ability. Amen. That's number two special. Can we say special calling? Special. Amen. The third one is called specific calling. Then a special calling does not come until God sees. That you are faithful in the general. Amen. And specific does not come until God sees that you are faithful in the what? In the special. Amen. So specific calling is given by God. It placed us in a specific area of service. Specific area of service. You can be in the special right now as you begin to continue to be faithful, then God will call you to your specific calling. This calling is a higher level than the first two. This calling is a higher level than the general and special calling. Because it requires us to be faithful in the first two. The general calling and the specific calling. And the first specific calling. Let me give you a good example. If you are faithful in the general evangelizing, all the bringing people to church and they begin to church, I truly believe God will call you in the office of an evangelist. I truly believe that. When you see you, you're doing that, you invite people to church, witness to them about Jesus, talking to them, and they become part of you. I truly believe God will call you as an evangelist. As an evangelist, you require an anointing. Amen. So in the office of an evangelist, you cry about anointing, special anointing to do what? To preach. Amen. You want preaching means to proclaim. Amen. To proclaim. It will give you more anointing. You don't have to do one or work anymore. You can stand on the highway and the byway and begin to preach and people will come to you. Amen. It's the anointing that brings them. The anointing we want, we have attract them. Amen. Amen. The anointing make a difference in our calling. That's right. Amen. Even the anointing will protect you in that ministry. Amen. 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 Because time you preach to people, you see people coming to you. Yeah. Amen. 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 And if you are faithful, then God will preach that He can give you specific. Amen. Amen. What do I mean? He can give you specific for you to not go to Europe. Evangelist to the Euro Euro European country. Amen. Specific. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Amen. Amen. Yeah. But I, I mean, no, 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 is dead now. Yes. yes. Amen. Do you believe he was a pastor? Yeah. He started as a pastor. Yes. Yeah. And then he lost to win souls. Yes. And God gave him specifically Africa. Yes. Yeah. And then he was so specific. Then specifically Nigeria. Hey. Yes, yes. I'm serious. Yes. Then the special become evangelist to the world. Yes. Right. Amen. 
And then they'll eat that and then they eat. They got to level go toasted. Yes. They said, I will send you to Nigeria. Yes, sir. Ah. When you gather in Nigeria, millions come. Yes, sir. Who said millions? Millions. It doesn't have the grace for Nigeria. And other people go there, and other, you know, and this thing is not a black man. It's not from Nigeria, it's a white man. Amen. It's from Germany. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Amen. It draws more people to the kingdom than the evil in Nigeria. Amen. Yes. Right. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. No intention I have to Nigeria. You're the white man. A white man. That's right. When you stand and preach the gospel, and people that come to him are not white either, they are black. They are not like me. And they speak like me. They come to him. Because other big pastor in Nigeria cannot draw more people in one time. What is that? Anointing. Anointing makes a difference in your calling. Wait for your calling. Don't go before God. Not you are going without the anointing. You are going before the anointing. He was a white man. Some people will be afraid. Just go, go send me to, to India. Everybody discouraged me. Except my wife. Amen. Everybody discouraged me. Say, you African, why are you going to India? Go save your people. Oh. So I said, why are you going to India? Are you from India? You say, I, I, are you from India? I was very seasoned. I'm saying, Mr. Man of God, we don't go there. Oh. This is where we go. Yes. Oh, that's tell you, you are not sent. That's what the devil is doing. Yeah. They go to, they wait on their own. Yeah. Amen. 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 Wait to be sent. God tell you to go to China. He doesn't go speak Chinese. Oh. Amen. Amen. You are going with anointing. Yeah. You are going with God. God is already there before you get there. Yeah. Yeah. Already there. Yeah. Already there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. After this, Talk about original mandate Woo! for dominion. Yes, sir. Oh, original no. mandate for dominion. Anyone goes tell me this is my dominion, nobody can stop me. Yeah. I have grace in that dominion. Yeah. It doesn't matter if we China, yeah. it could be Europe, yeah. it could be India. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. There are nothing will draw there. Yeah. There are nothing will set there. Yeah. There are nothing will deliver there. Hallelujah. Is there no Yes, sir. That one day, when you are in your territory, that one dominion is a territory. That you are in your domain. Yes. Amen. You say, I can go this end to that domain. Hey. Yeah, we are going to. Hey. For Africa, especially Nigeria, millions, millions of people gather. Yes. Amen. Millions of people are saved. He was the third one. Thousands were delivered. Yes. He didn't want their hands on them. Yes, right. yes. He just speak the word. Yes. Come on, that's right. Hallelujah. Yes. That's it. If you're an, an, yes. an evangelist, the word is heavy. Yes. That's yes. it. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. When you speak a word, angels will respond to you. Yes. Yes. In your territory. Yes. In your domain. Yes. Hey, you want to God. Another good example. I'm almost done. Romans 11, 13, you will see Apostle Paul, his better calling was an apostle. Romans 11, 13, that's specific. Amen. Amen. Specific. Man, I remember those days when I go to India. My God, life saved, people are healed, people are delivered, thousands of people gather. God healed them, delivered them, the blind, the deaf, the lame. Some people are even see God is doing it because I'm in my There's a grace in their area. You God tell you to go. And you are saved, delivered. Are you hearing me? Yes. It's not where we want to go, it's where God sent us. Yes. Amen. And we did Romans 11 13. Yes. It's there for our speak. Mm -hmm. To you, Gentile. 
in as much as I am an apostle to the who? For the Gentiles. I magnify my ministry. Paul understood it. You see, I magnify my what? My ministry. The special was an apostle, but the specific was what? Apostle to the Gentile. Amen. The specific was not an apostle to the what? To the Jew. He was to the Gentile. Peter was an apostle to the Jew. You see, specific calling. Yes. Even though he was an apostle, that word apostle is the word apostolos. Apostolos. The one that is sent. The sent one. Yes. Amen. Amen. Who is sending? God. God. Some people call them apostolos. God is sending them. <laughs> they send themselves. Amen? Amen. They send themselves. That means they don't have the anointing in that ministry. Amen. Amen. There's no grace in that ministry. Amen. There's no authority in that ministry. Amen. Every listen to me today. Every apostolic ministry must have deliverance. Amen. 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 If you're an apostolic ministry, if you're an apostle, must have deliverance. Must have Healing. Amen. I'm telling you. If you go through what that Corinthians 2 12, 12, and the signs of the apostles. Yes, and the signs. We don't know your gift by talking, talking, talking. Oh, go ahead and talk. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know your, your no, experience. We don't know your ministry by talk, talk. I am this, I am that. Let's see the sign. Amen. Let's see the fruit. By the fruit, we shall know that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. As the people call themselves prophets, they cannot even give one of knowledge, one of wisdom. They give him one of encouragement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of what? Encouragement. Every believer can encourage. Amen. <laughs> What of encouragement? God God coming and they will give me a lot of encouragement. Don't you know? Oh, we are to lost it, lost it. Oh, they said that. What of encouragement? That's a word of encouragement. Give me one of knowledge, a word of wisdom. A true prophet. The Bible says you will know that the prophet has come among you. If we are one, come to pass. If we are one. And don't get me wrong, as a prophet, you can operate in, in a gift of what? Knowledge. Tell me the past, what's going to happen, what happened. Let me tell you, devil knew, he knows what happened yesterday. Right, right, Hello? Right. Amen. That's right. Yes. I don't move me if you tell me what happened yesterday, or tell me what I had. You have it. Oh. That happened because so, the devil knows that. Amen. <laughs> Hello?
Let me just pray. Yes, we'll continue this week the law of the process. Then after that, we'll be talking about moving. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless. Can we stand on our feet? Amen. Is that not the thank you? Amen. Is anyone here want to give their life to Jesus? Don't know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior? Please come. We're going to pray for you. I find it. I feel I'm unsure. There's a couple of people here who want to give their life to Jesus. Amen. Let's pray this prayer together. Say, Dear Jesus, I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are the Son of God and you died for my sin. Lord Jesus, I thank you. I bless you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of my sin. Restore my soul and lead me in the path of righteousness. For your name's sake. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 Anybody pray this prayer for the first time? Let me see you, pray for you. I know everybody here. Anybody? Hallelujah. Can you come forward, sister? Let's go for you. I feel the Holy Spirit coming. Let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. Amen. 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 Pastor Michael, you want to help? Yes. Let me come up. Pray for you. Just this way. Come. Let's pray for her. Come, let's step our hands up. Let's pray for her. Anybody here? Anybody else? Want to receive Jesus as their love and Savior? The Lord and Savior. I'm going to receive him yet. Amen. Nobody praise God. Amen. Also, one more, one more call. Is anybody here trusting God for healing? Come quick. We're going to pray for you. Healing. We are all healed. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. What do Anybody else? I want to pray for you quick. Healing come quick. Come for me, yes. Amen. Do we have all of you out there to sing a song? Yes, please. Healing come. I'm going to pray for you. I can leave to come in here quick. Come. Amen. Let's lift up our hands to heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We talked about the healing power of Jesus, the gift of healing today. The Bible says, You have bought our pain. If someone can get a number for us, we can follow up. Follow up with death. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your healing power. We thank you, Lord, that you are the healer. You are the Lord that healed me. Your name is Jehovah Rapha. You are the one that healed us. We thank you, we bless you for your anointing. Lord, you bore your pain, our pain, you carried our sorrows. And by your stripes, we are healed. By the stripes that you suffer on Calvary, we are healed. You took 39 stripes on your back. It was purposeful. It was purposeful. You paid the price. You took that 39 stripes on your back for our healing. That tells me that sickness is illegal in our body. Because Jesus has paid the price for it. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the Holy Spirit touch you now. Touch you now. Be touched now. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. We command the family to go. In the name of Jesus. 
And I disease to go. In the name of Jesus. They're going to say, we'll lay hands on the sick. And the sick shall recover. And lay my hands right now, sister. Be healed. I see the anointing is coming upon you. It's coming upon you. Be healed. And the sick shall recover. I lay my hands right now. Let the healing power of Jesus, sister, let it disappoint you. Receive the power. Receive the anointing. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Sickness, no. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God says, lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. Receive your healing. Receive your healing, Lord. Give my hands upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Give my hands on the sick, and the sick shall recover. And give my hands upon you in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God be released. Go, take go, take this go.
working out and I popped my shoulder, my, my elbow for my, yeah, there was, I just felt like a big pop and like I felt and like I was in pain and like I put the ice on it. But like during the service, I was thinking that was in the back just like during, like right now, the three things. And it just slowly, the pain went away. Thank you, God. I love you. Thank you. I can't I you. Wow. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Glory to Remember. 
and what Jesus did for all of us. That's why we are here. There are five purposes of the Lord's God. We look back to the cross of Calvary. Remember what Jesus did. We look upward to thank the Father for sending the Lamb of God. We look inward to amend our way before the Lord. And we look around and forgive everyone that has hurt us. Have you forgiven everyone? We forgive everyone that has hurt us. And we look forward to his return. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your body that was broken. We look back one and we remember. And we thank you, Lord Father, for sending Jesus. Thank you for the tiny nice that you took on his back. Thank you, we bless you. Thank you, we remember the suffering of the cross. Even though we were not there, we are ready. And we believe that Jesus came, Jesus died, and he resurrected. And he ascended even on the earth. Yes. Now he's seated at the right hand of the Father. So Father, we thank you for the body of Jesus. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. You can come in.
Thanksgiving time is always the best time. Amen. Because you get to honor God with the sweat of your brows. You get to honor God. Glory to God. I know there was an awesome a testimony you have that we'll take next week, correct? Okay, we'll take it next week. But, you know, God has a way to reward your faithfulness in your giving. God has a way to reward your faithfulness in your giving. Glory to God. People, this is the house where God what? Dwells. It is the house where God dwells. And he's faithful to the faithful. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, give and it shall. It has no, no, no other way but to, but to return to you. I know somebody who is right now is bearing a testimony. Glory to God. Where a woman from a dealership says, I've never done this before. I don't even believe I'll ever do this again. But I'm going to allow you to give, I'm going to give you this car. Glory to God. For you to be driving. And then the lady called back and said, you know what? I'm going to put tags on the car for you. And you don't need to pay me back. Amen. Amen. And as a matter of fact, when the 30 day tag finish, come and get the, the, the permanent tag. Is that correct? Yes. Amen. Let me know. But when they, those tags finish and it's no cause to you, she says, she's like, she says, I don't know, but God told me to do this. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Don't tell you that and God, this God is faithful. Amen. He is faithful. Glory to God. I like my husband said, He is watching. Amen. He is watching. Glory to God. So if you if you know whatever you do for God, it's not it's not it's not gone unseen Amen. or unnoticed. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. So I want to encourage you now to honor him. By God, I can't get the Lord of Messiah with the sweat of your brows. Amen. With your first fruit. Glory to God. And I even see the ones here. So, uh, people that are were wrestling with the first fruit, but I thank God that they have come to surrender because it, 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 it literally is very, very, very life changing. Your first fruit. Amen. Amen. And like I've said before, if you need to know more about it, this gentleman right here. Amen. Can tell you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I, I, I can tell you a little something, but he's 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 a scholar. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the true and living God. Amen. 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 Okay, one needs an envelope. Honey, I didn't know I could do this. I thought the voice was totally gone. <laughs> 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 Glory to God. Amen. Anyone needs an envelope? Anyone need an envelope? Nobody does? Okay. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. Well, let's go ahead and bless the offering. Can you start to your feet, please? It's, it, 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 it's actually going to die. Part of the worship. Oh, that's very glad. Glory to God. It's part of your worship. Amen. Amen. Father, we, we honor you. We honor you, my God, with the sweat of our brows. We honor you, Karasaka. Oh, hallelujah. With, 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 with all that we have in the name of Jesus. That as we go out there, we know that we're not self uh, 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 led by self. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You are our ultimate keeper. Hallelujah. My God, you keep our health so we can earn a living. And we're not taking that for granted. So I thank you for health and strength. Glory to God. And the uh, ability, oh my God, to work and to do glory to God what you've called me to do. Glory to God. Even my very talent, oh hallelujah, to, to, to cause me to do the job that I do. Hallelujah. So Lord, I thank you that we're giving back to you. I feel honored to give you back. Oh my God, hallelujah to you. I thank you for the windows of heaven. You didn't say the window of heaven, you said the windows of heaven. Glory to God, as it opens up and pour out. My God, my God, hallelujah. We give you glory, honor and praise and adoration. Hallelujah, as they honor you with their tithes, their offerings. My God, oh hallelujah, your seeds, glory to God. Hallelujah. And even the special offer to the various uh, 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 the needs of this church. We give you glory, honor, and praise. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.